All right. So first things first, before we do anything else, we first have to get set up and ready for web development. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of applications that we'll be using pretty much full time during this course. There's two major tools that we'll rely on, and that is going to be the Chrome browser and the Atom text editor. And between these two tools, we're going to achieve a lot. And later on in the course, when we're introducing more advanced concepts, such as using the command line or using a database, then we'll install other things as we go along. But to get started, the most important applications we need to install are just these two. Now, you might already have Chrome installed, but if you don't, then be sure to check out the web development course resources list, which I'll link to in this current lesson. And it's really, really important that you check over here because every single time I mention a link or every single time I try to point you towards something, the links will show up over here and you'll be able to click on it to save you all the trouble of having to type it all out. First things first, if you don't have Chrome installed, then open up this page in your browser and just click on this link to um, go ahead and download and install Chrome. And that should be pretty simple and it will guide you through the process. Now, the other thing that we'll need is the Atom text editor. And this is really, really useful for creating a development environment where we'll be able to write our code. And it's completely free to download and install. So if you just head over to atom.io um, or go through the web development course resource list, then you should land on this page. And it very cleverly figures out what system you have that you're running. So for example, at the moment I'm running Mac OS and I'm on Mac OS 10.9 or later. So all you have to do is just go ahead and click download. And once download has completed, then you can simply head over to your downloads folder and double click to unzip that package. And now you will see Atom show up. The last thing you have to do is just to move this application into your applications folder. On the Mac, it's just a matter of heading over to your Macintosh hard drive and then your applications folder and then dragging in that Atom application that you just downloaded in your downloads over into here. And then you're all done and you're set up with Atom. Now, if you're a Windows user and you head over to atom.io, you'll see that it'll automatically detect that you are viewing this on a Windows computer and then you can just go ahead and again, click that big yellow download button. And you should end up with something that's called something like atomsetup.exe. And you'll be able to see this in your downloads folder. So now if you just double click on that, and it will automatically do everything it needs to install Atom on your system. So once you're done, it should open up a new Atom window like so, and you would have successfully installed Atom. And the power of Atom really comes from their packages. So you can see that they have over 8,000 packages, which are bunches of code that other programmers have written to make your experience of using Atom better. So you can put in custom things such as display a clock in the Atom status bar or other things such as having the file icons next to each of your files or something that's way more practical, which is things like Atom Beautify, which just beautifies and indent your code for you. So these are really, really powerful and we're going to customize it for the course. So again, if you head back over to the web development course resource list, you'll see that there is a list of Atom packages that we want you to install. And these are the ones which are recommended and these are the ones which are optional. All you have to do is open up Atom and go to preferences and then go to install. And I want you to search for each of these and then just go ahead and install it. So you can simply just copy and paste it into here and you'll see the one that should match up exactly with the name that you see over here. And then just go ahead and click install. And on Windows is absolutely exactly the same. And once you have installed all of your packages, then you should be able to view them over here. And some of these that I listed as optional are just things that make life a little bit easier for us. 
Um, but the ones which are recommended are things that we'll be using throughout the course. So things such as um, auto close HTML, which automatically closes your HTML tags. We'll see that in use. Um, other things such as Emmet will um, auto suggest bits of code that we need. And in order to see what I see on screen, when you work alongside the tutorials, it's a good idea to install all of the recommended packages. Now, a lot of the packages are to do with our linters and linters are kind of like what it sounds like. It picks out lint from your code, right? It tries to suggest maybe places where you can improve or places where you're not conforming to best practice and it really helps you to improve your code. So now that you're all set up with your packages, you are ready to go and get started with web development. So I will see you on the next lesson.